Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, I've been taking you on a journey with me to paying off over $140,000 worth of student loan debt. And thankfully, that journey is now getting closer and closer to the finish line. In today's video, what I would like to share with you guys and give you an update on is the transfers I have made uh, the beginning of July. Currently at the time of filming it is July 3rd and I have officially made my first transfer Tuesday, my money moves for the month of July. And I would like to share with you guys uh, what money transfers I have made, uh, which means where is my money going? What am I transferring my money to? What am I investing in? I'm by no means a financial expert, but I do like to share with you guys and break down what I'm doing with my money on pretty much a weekly basis here on the channel. Uh, so stick around for the ride. I got the real numbers to show you in just a second with the screenshot confirmations that are going to pop up somewhere on the screen. However, before I dive into talking about how much money I was able to transfer this week to help pay off my student loans and get, to, get me to become debt free, I have a couple other things to address, some housekeeping here. Uh, this isn't really housekeeping. These are just kind of three little announcements or three little things I want to uh, share with you guys. Number one is that this week, actually it was the end of last week, I got in the mail some student debt cancellation forgiveness refinance notice. I couldn't tell even where it's from. I'm not really going to show the paper, but it's in my hand. And it says, final notice. It says, dear Michael, we see you have debts. Um, if you apply with this, uh, you can you create your FSA ID. Uh, you potentially could have loan forgiveness or reduced interest rates, reduced payments, yada, yada, yada. So I don't know if this is like official from the federal loans place. I don't know what this is, don't know if it's legit. If anyone has received anything like this and you're kind of in the same boat as I am, uh, please share in the comment section below what you think of this, if it's legit, if it's, I mean, they l legit say the amount of money I owe. So there is like identifying factors here. But if you got something like this, or you know anything about it or what it is, uh, be sure to let me know down in the comment section because I have no idea what this final notice is for student loan consolidation slash forgiveness. So that's the first thing I wanted to share with you guys. The other thing I wanted to update you guys on because I've had some people ask about it down in the comment section. And this is one of those things that's really cool about having a high interest savings account um, is that you get interest given to you every single month. I guess this can happen with your regular bank account too, but with a high interest savings account and with a lot of money in that high interest savings account, you get quite a bit back per month. So um, Ally Savings Bank, which is what I use right now for my uh, savings account, pays out a 4.0 interest rate per month. Um, However, it does show you how much you gain interest per day if you go into your settings and take a look at it. So I looked at it before pressing record. As of right now, with the total amount of money I have in there, which is I think just over $42,000, and it says that at that 4.0 interest rate, I gain $4.56 per day for having my money into this high interest savings account. So if you multiply that by 30, that equals $136.80 that I should be getting for the month of July. Normally by the time I press record on these videos, um, if it's past the second or third of the month, I will already have that amount posted to my account and I can share it with you guys. However, today must be an exception because I cannot see how much interest I gained for this past month, the month of June, because it goes by, um, you get paid on the third of the past month's interest. So I'm expecting it to be somewhere around that, how they separate the money between how much is in it at the end of the month versus how much was in it at the middle and at the beginning. I have no idea. I don't pretend to try to know that. So it might not be exactly 136, we'll see. It's probably gonna be somewhere close to it because last month, it was around $121 and it usually goes up by that amount of money each month. 
So that's the amount of interest I'm gaining on this high interest savings account because I've been saving my student loans instead of paying them off um, as they are due because they haven't been due. They haven't been due since, what, March or April of 2020? Ah, what's last on the agenda? Oh, so the last thing I wanted to share with you guys before I talk about what transfers I've made uh, today for this Transfer Tuesday video is my plans for the summer in terms of my transfers. As many of you know, for the past year, I think at least, yeah, since last April, I have been transferring, trying to transfer $3,000 every single month to my high interest savings account for the purpose of paying off my student loans, my federal student loans, which have been in deferment. And I've been able to accomplish that pretty much every single month with one or two months uh, to be exception. And this coming summer, I think I should be able to maintain that $3,000 a month. The only hurdle that there is going to be is that I need to submit my vouchers. Um, every weekend that I've had, I'm like, oh, I need to submit my vouchers, which means that just finish the documentation and submit it. It's not a super long process. It's a little bit annoying because things are clunky with the software and system that they use for documenting. But I just, every weekend something happens and then that kind of takes up the time or I just procrastinate and there's other things I would like to do. So that's the only hurdle. Once I do that, it should be um, relatively easy to maintain, hopefully relatively easy to maintain that $3,000 a month in conjunction with my regular career uh, W-2 income job. All right, so let's move on to the main meat and potatoes, the bread and butter, the brass tacks of today's video, the Transfer Tuesday stats. How much money I was able to transfer from my bank account, from my paychecks, and the work I do with my side hustle income to getting rid of my student loan debt situation that I'm in, as well as progressing my debt freedom and uh, financial independence in the form of investing. So uh, let's tackle that first bit. I was able to transfer $1,650 to my high interest account, my Ally Savings Bank account. $1,500 are going to go to the student debt category. It's going to stay there. And $150 are going to go to the sinking funds, vacation, Christmas, and family sinking funds. If I've done my math correctly, this transfer will mean that my student debt total bucket amount right now after this transfer goes through is sitting at $43,000. That's $43,000 I've saved up for my government student loans. Um, that's also $43,000 that gains a 4.0% interest rate every single month, which is why I'm doing this. Um, at first, it wasn't really significant to have uh, be saving into a high interest savings account, and now it is. It's $100 plus month, dollars a month uh, to do this. So $43,000 total saved up for the government student loans. Um, so with my Ally Savings Bank, $1,650 have gone there. Um, some of it to student loans, some of it to sinking funds, which will get $50 each. The other transfer that I made on this Transfer Tuesday is $200. Wow, I'm getting very bright on the camera. <laughs> the other transfer I've made is $200 going to my M1 Finance brokerage account for my Roth IRA. That's divided up between four different uh, Vanguard index funds that I have chosen that cover kind of broad areas of the markets uh, that are safe, I feel, but still offer good return. And so $200 is going towards that. So quite a big transfer today. Um, yeah, what, what is that? $1,850 total transferred on this Transfer Tuesday. That's one of my biggest yet. Um, so good numbers there. Uh, we're going to see how the rest of July plays out this hot and steamy month that it is so far. It is so humid here. Um, but uh, I hope you all have a great 4th of July tomorrow, um, which will be the actual Tuesday that this video comes out. So have a good 4th of July if you're watching this now. And if you don't celebrate 4th of July, because I know some of my viewers are not even from the United States, 
Um, thank you still so much for watching this video and for supporting me, for encouraging me on this journey of getting rid of my student loan debt once and for all. I will see you in the next one. Take care.